Hello everybody, I'm Lance Goyke and today we're going to talk about a functional training variation of the push-up that is pretty common or has been at least for the last 15 years or so. Um, it's called the scap push-up. Um, let's talk about it after I show what it is. So the idea is I'm just using my scapula to do the push-up, but I'm not actually doing a whole push-up. That way I learn how to move my shoulder blades. I could start even on my knees like this and do just what I was kind of showing you there. I'm going to tuck my hips a little bit and I'm going to push my neck away from the ground. This is my finish position where my shoulder blades are fully protracted, fully abducted, fully upward rotated in this horizontal space at least. Um, and then from there I'm going to just let my shoulders sag together. My neck comes down toward the ground and I'm going to reverse it. That's all it is. So do a couple reps, just like this. And that just teaches me how to move my shoulder blades. Uh, the, the full push-up variation of this, let's tuck my hips, necks away from the ground, I'm holding it here, and I come down, and I come up. And it's just like that. So I'm training this armpit muscle, this serratus anterior, which is one of my favorite <laughs> uh, muscles. I was going to say articles. It's also one of my favorite articles that I've ever written about anatomy stuff. Uh, serratus anterior does a lot of stuff. It's, it's pretty appreciated, but I still think it's underappreciated because it's, it's kind of amazing. It's, it's one of the biggest, uh, most notable byproducts of our bipedalism. Um, and the way that it just helps your shoulder move all around, helps you reach into the cabinets. Uh, it's kind of fascinating. Uh, the, the way that we learn it, though, is that it's helping my shoulder blades protract. And that's true. Um, I think its main function, though, is not necessarily that. It's one, to help get your arm overhead. And it's two, to help pull the rib cage backward. So a lot of times when we're focusing on something, we get really tuned in and we start leaning forward so we can look at it. I'm pretending to be on a computer because that's normally where people are gonna be. Even if you're sitting like this and you push your head forward, it's still the same thing, right? It's still my rib cage, my upper, sorry, I hit the mic. Uh, my upper thorax is being pushed forward and my lower middle thorax here is counterbalancing me backward. And that's where that hump back posture comes from. The scap push-up can be good in correcting that, but what's most important is that it's not that the shoulder blades come forward, because if I do it like this, I'm not really doing anything. What I need is to get my spinal position correct so that I can get my rib position better. And there I have a little more normal curve of my spine rather than this thing where I'm just kind of hanging on my, my joints and ligaments here. Um, I, now, I don't really use the scat push-up, to be honest. If I'm going to use it, it's just as a, a purpose. I'm probably going to do it from my knees or from your knees, and I'm going to use it as a way to cue you on what it feels like to move your shoulder blade. It's actually pretty nice for teaching the row, which I think is a great segue because next video tomorrow we're starting the row. Um, but it, it helps you learn that scapular mechanic. Um, to get a good row, I need to have my shoulder blade retract and swing around my rib cage like this. I don't want to keep it locked forward and pull like this. Then I put extra stress on the shoulder joint. Now it's all a little bit of foreshadowing, but that is demonstrating the usefulness of the scap push-up, right? I start to dissociate the scap from the rib cage, and that can make a world of difference.